Joining me now is Congressman Devin Nunes, House Intel Committee ranking member, and Sean Davis, co-founder of The Federalist. Congressman, let's start with you. We've seen a lot of abuse over the past three years. You've been digging into this and digging into it, but this has to be one of the more egregious abuses of power, uh, given how this we know this thing went down now. Your thoughts? Well, clearly, General Flynn is going to have a civil rights case, and I think it's going to cost the government uh, millions of dollars. Uh, secondly, hopefully, there's going to be some prosecutions uh, for this matter. And the judge really has an opportunity here to step in and sanction these lawyers. So, and, and with all that said, Laura, uh, we brought you this. The House Republicans brought you uh, just a snippet of this information back in 2018. Uh, we were mocked. We were told it was a joke. Well, now all of a sudden you realize that what we told you at that time, not only was it true, we didn't even know the half of it. And even right now, we, you don't even have the half of it. There's more information coming out the rest of this week. So the, the evidence is continuing to pile up in General Flynn's General Flynn, uh, uh, favor. Uh, which is what we told you and what most of us knew that have I've known General Flynn for uh, nearly 15 years. And uh, yeah. to the idea that he would be a Russian agent is preposterous. It's a disgrace. And the way this whole thing went down, the meeting went down, the, the interview was billed as just a conversation. Sean, here's what Comey said about that fateful Flynn interview back in 2018. We placed a call to Flynn, said, hey, we're sending a couple guys over. Uh, hope you'll talk to them. He said, sure. Nobody else was there. They interviewed him in a conference room at the White House Situation Room, and he lied to them. And that's what he's now pled guilty to. What did he think they were coming over there for? Uh, I don't think he knew. I know we didn't tell him. Sean, the hubris of Comey. I mean, my blood boils watching him, his manner, manner his you know, his, his priggish manner there and his dismissiveness of the rights of an individual. Uh, you've been digging into this tonight. Tell us your thoughts. Right. I, I think it's clear now that James Comey will go down in, in history as the most corrupt FBI director in American history. He has had the, the worst reign. He has destroyed the FBI's reputation through his actions, his arrogance and his corruption. He has made it more difficult, according to a federal prosecutor I, I spoke to today, uh, for U.S. attorneys and FBI agents to get convictions across the country. And that will forever be James Comey's legacy is this corrupt coup that he attempted to run against Donald Trump. Well, remember how this did go down, Congressman Nunes. I mean, they did, they called him. I don't know, was the White House counsel involved in this at all? Did Don McGahn, I don't know if he walked him over, walked Sally Yates. I don't know how this whole thing went down, well, uh, but, but you do. So remind us how it all went down. <laughs> well, let's remember the most important thing in all of the Russia hoax mess, and we've t heard about illegal leaks. Well, the most important leak at the highest level were the transcripts of Flynn having a private conversation, the incoming national security advisor for the president of the United States having a conversation with the Russian ambassador leaked out to the Washington Post and other places, I believe. Now, why uh, James Comey and the FBI, why 400 FBI agents were crawling all over Washington, D.C., trying to find out, oh, my God, we just lost important take. We have the Russian ambassador here talking to the National Security Advisor. Somehow that leaked out from the IC. What did they do? They did nothing. And, and you, to answer your question, what happened in that, in that process? What they did is they did not, uh, they, they had McCabe, the deputy FBI director, call up General Flynn and, and say something like, oh, we want to send a few people over there. Is that okay? So, no, they did not. He did not have legal counsel and they set him up. Yeah. The whole thing was a setup. No, it's just and Sean, the media, they do not escape culpability in all of this, because rather than being real journalists, they were rooted, rooting against this president and in his administration from the start. Real quick. Let's watch. This guy was not only acting as a foreign agent, literally as a foreign agent, not metaphorically. President Trump knew then what we all know now, that Flynn was a double agent. What the White House got was a blistering rebuke of their made-up claims that Flynn was somehow entrapped by the FBI. It wasn't just the judge who did that, it was Michael Flynn. 
Will any of them come on television tomorrow and apologize or do a mea culpa, Sean, any of them? Will any of them have that decency? No, it'll never happen, despite the fact that this entire collusion hoax could never have been perpetrated mm -hmm. without their willing work in it. No, they will never return their Pulitzer Prizes uh, that they got for reporting fake news. Yeah. They will never apologize. Right. They'll never Sean, admit they were wrong ever. thank you so ever. much. Uh, we're going to stay on this tomorrow. We have a lot more to get to. Last bite coming up.